all our guys and girls and welcome to one UDL match. I can't really tell which week because this will be the clip which comes before every UDL upload because I'm bulk uploading them right now basically. Because my bachelor thesis was going on, if you follow me on Twitter you already know that, and that finished. I have now actually time to edit and upload the UDL matches. I did always live record them because that was very easy because I had the match either way so I could just live record them. But uh, yeah, there will be no team builder. Because honestly, I I don't don't really feel like recording a bunch of team builder for matches I had a while ago. So the team will always be in the description. If you have any questions about the team, I will make sure to answer them. If I remember why I made this respawn or something like that. But uh, either way, I, some people ask where are the UDL matches, and yeah, so now I start uploading them. So yeah, enjoy. Hola guys, guys, here we are on showdown for the surprising <laughs> playoffs match. Didn't expect to end up here, but. What can you do? Some, sometimes you do, sometimes you no, don't. And uh, okay, here we are with the match. He brought a very similar team to last time. He brought the guard on us here, Mewtwo, Y, the Dialga. I don't remember if I'm my Aegis Dash with there, to be honest. I just like this. I record this on the day I finished my bachelor thesis, so I just gave it to the professors and stuff like that. So I didn't prepare a lot. This is a very similar team. I just changed a few things. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's how we end up. So we lead, uh, lead again with our uh, new Lego. But this time we have clear smog. So call mind me to buy is not not the worst thing which can happen to us. The only hazard removal he has is potentially on that Arceus. But if he's hazard removal, that means he's not E killer, which is great news for me. Again, Toxic Black is just very nice with his team. This guy is affected. This guy. This guy. This guy. The Dialga and Aegis says, of course, not sadly. But uh, that's not too big of a problem. We have Oak, our thing, leads eight the slash, and uh, yeah, we just we just tease back. I want one layer of tease back. If he sets up, we can uh, we can tease him But you can uh, think foul play him, so that's not too big of a problem. Shadow Claw, makes you down my sash. So he yeah, obviously would Shadow Sneak right here. Do I want to even switch on this? Or do I not care? Do I have anything which wants to take a Shadow Sneak, which doesn't mind? Let's let's do cards. Let's do cards while we're here. As is offensive uh, versus each slash blade form. He has shadow claws. So just figuring he's max attack. Let's see uh, element. If he doesn't have shadow sneak. Foul play would of course do a lot to him. I think it would even kill him in blade form. So he obviously has a shadow sneak right here. Shadow sneak doesn't close to nothing. Shadow claw does. Shadow jar ball is uh, only 59 base power. Versus me? Why is it only? Asis is as. I'm. Why is as? That makes no sense. The gyro is that little base power versus me. But let's cast Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw, forty percent. Not too big of a problem. He doesn't really have a good switch into Asis Ground. Asis Ground could be a nice win condition as well. So I don't know if I want to hard switch into that in. I just foul play. We have Shadow Sneak. Yeah, we could switch into something. Now we can go into our Asis. And his switch into a judgment is Groudon. Uh, to Earthquake. I don't have I don't have physical. With Groudon. Groudon. Physical defensive. Could go for plus two. And then he can read too much to me. That's SD. He might King Shield. Goes into the Groudon. Nice. He is poisoned. So depending on the spread, I might kill right here with my Earthquake. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. We already have him down to 88%, so... That plus... No, wait, if he's physically defensive... Oh wait, if he's max HP... If max HP, I don't kill him. So yeah. If he's physically defensive, I definitely don't kill him. But if he's defensive, like, he's not doing too much to me. He's not doing too much. There you see Presses Blades, that's 48%. Yeah, we don't kill him. He's defensive. He has the raw, which is not too big a problem. He has the left as well, and we can now make it off and just go for Shadow Ball, I guess, in case he wants to switch out into something. Like the only switching would make sense is the Aegis Slash, so why not go for Shadow Ball in case he wa he wants to be fancy and keep his like a death photo or something. I guarantee you, like the only bad thing could have brought me into was Magiana. The rest could pick him off. So yeah. Get rid of Groudon. So we trade Groudon. Overall, we trade Groudon for Nia Lego, which I take because I do have the Toxic Spikes up as well. 
So what is switch best switching to this is of course the easiest easy dash, I wanna say. Because Mewtwo could kill me as well, to be fair, I think. Mewtwo could be annoying as well, yeah. Or like Scarf Infernape if that's a, if it's Scarf. But obviously Dialga doesn't want to come in and Arceus doesn't want to either. So yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. He knows now my Arceus is physical and has soft dance. And now that Groudon is gone, he doesn't have anything which wants to come in on this. On my Arceus. That is. Once I, uh, you can uh, use Arceus. Like now his. Groudon was his most defensive mon. Like, looking at Steam Dialga could be still a defensive mon. Arceus, I doubt his defense. I definitely want to keep my Lucario around because that's my best uh, check to the uh, Arceus. Because you can take a plus 2 extreme speed and does a lot of the energy vacuum wave. Does go into his. Uh, into his Mewtwo. I just hard switch into my uh, Deoxys on this. This is my switch into this, this time it's Assault as offensive, so I can at least bring him in range of Bullet Punch from Lucario or Extreme Speed from Arceus. If he kills my Deoxys, that's fine. Don't mind that too much. Sun is up, so Fire Blast will do a ton to everything. Let's get the cards going. Uh, Mewtwo Y. Like Spanish versus my uh, Deoxys. Defense. I love the option only show important sense. That way I don't have to search a lot. Especially with Arceus forms, that was always a pain. Then yeah, if time is up. And he goes for like Fire Blast. Like Shadow Ball doesn't tweak Yomi, but Fire Blast in the Sun. What's about that? Doesn't tweak Yomi either, so yeah. Flame throw does very little. Now we just throw a chop. Now we do just throw a chop. Just playing it safe. Bring guaranteed in range of my in, in revenge killing range. If it switches out, that's fine. And get some damage on something else. He goes into the Aegis Slash, we get good damage on that. If he switches into Arceus, we can I don't know if I would drain punch that. Because I could go into Magian on that. Oh god, I got a nosebleed. Well, let's stop that real quick on camera. This guy comes in. Don't know if he wants to toxic me. God damn it, that's a, I don't, that's a very nice live video. I could just drain punch for recovery. Like, what is the worst thing you do? Probably, what would you do? I did, let's first card. I did 40% versus Yelga. Let's say it's max HP. Yeah, it looks like max HP. Brain Punch would recover. Doesn't always. Doesn't say 20%. It would recover me 20%, which is honest, obviously a lot. So I just want to go for it. Just to get some recovery back. Since I'm a Salt Vested of Offensive, like as offensive you can be as Dirk's Defense. Uh, the question is, uh, um, like, how much the Toxic matters on that? Because obviously I'm not staying in, like, a lot of turns recovering all this good stuff. Since I have no HP investment and you actually such a low HP number, I actually recover a lot with this brain punch. It's great news. Great, great news. So let's take care of this most speed as well. Uh, I, I get this, like, I have a, a rather high uh, blood pressure, naturally. So it happens a decent amount of time that I get a most bleed out of the blue. <laughs> so let's just fix that real quick, at least temporary, as a temporary measure. Might get a Brox, which I don't mind too much. So, so Rain Punch, 29%. I get a lot of recovery, and the Earth calls me. That's close to nothing. Uh, I just go for it again. I'm faster than him, that's good to know. And I recover more than he does to me. At least with Earth Power. Of course, he could go for like Dragon Bolt with uh, Flash Cannon, which will do more to me. Draco Media, 45%. Let's go for another Drain Punch. If he stays in, I get another Drain Punch off. I'm back at around 60-ish, and he will do max like 22 meters over, and around around this HP, around 40%. That's which into Easy Slash, into the Slash star. Uh, this thing is in range of the thing, of... Uh, uh, what you call it, of Mewtwo now. But it still... It still can... It, it can't do enough, actually. 
Can't do that much. Um, could have freaked that going for Frog Chop. Is it worth it keeping this thing? He's always going for Shadow Claw or something like that. Let's go into Human Black, honestly. Keep this guy's death order around. And still coming on Yaga. Extreme speed something surprisingly. Human Black healthy helps versus. Take a hit from the mutual potentially. Yeah, it's just throw up. No, no need to keep this. Yeah, King shields me. So, not too big of a problem. I have switched into Q. I don't want to set it up on me now. Don't want to set it up on me. Yeah, so that sense. Got that right. Got Earth Power right here. So he only has Shadow Claw and Shadow Sneak. So he could do it Geomi right here. I have Sugar Berry. Okay, that's good news. And he gets the death drop because that means that my Arceus can uh, revenge kill him. Gets a crit. That, I don't think it mattered because Shadow Sneak would have killed me after. So that's not too big of a problem. And now we can go into Arceus. And just a uh, judgment. Uh, Earthquake him. Doesn't have a good switch into Earthquake. So. I don't mind just going for that. Shadow, Shadow Claw at plus two won't kill me. He would have to uh, King Sheet. Like, now it's a 50 50 for him as well because if I, I could SD on his King Sheet right now. So I think he. I don't think he can risk King Shielding right here. On the other hand, can I risk uh, Sword Sensing? I think I could because I could. If I Sword Sense, I take one Shadow Claw. Like, let's do the Calc again. I think I'm asking is at full health. Like, I have no investment, but I still have 120, 120 book. So, uh, Easy Slash. Let's say Max Attack Element. Plus two. Adamant. Shadow Claw. Boom. Yeah, I could take it. But uh, into a Shadow Sneak, I could not. So I can't really risk it. I go for Earthquake. What's my first intention either way? I can take a Shadow Claw into a Shadow Sneak. So I need your Earthquake right here. So he has... He, basically, he has no... No reason to... Oh, wait. If he King Shields, he can get a Shadow Claw. Because then he takes the Earthquake. and can then... Uh, after and get go for a plus 2 Shadow Claw. If he stays in this form, he can only get a plus 2 Shadow Sneak off. But, of course, he has the mind game to go for SD or do not go for SD. So, I'm just taking Earthquake. Worst case scenario, 70%. I lose 70% on my Arceus. Around 70%. If he gets a crit... Ooh, a crit for killing me, actually, I think. Crit has a chance to kill me. 60%. Actually in his favor. If he gets a crit. That is. So, But there's a lot going on. Like 6% crit chance. Then he's 6 chance as well. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think Shadow Clock on... Um, I don't know Shadow Clock on Lucario actually kills him from here. Just it decides to go Shadow Sneak. So... Earth, you kill him with Earthquake right away. So I don't know what he would switch into right here. Could go into his thing again. Into his Mega Mute. I just if it goes Mega Mute, I just sack the Deoxys. Can go for Extreme Seed for some chip. With the poison, he slowly gets in range of my Arceus or the priority of my Lucario. But I only got poison damage on him so far. Yeah. This guy is in range of everything. Rafanip is still very healthy. And the Arceus is still very healthy. Healthy Infernape could be problematic. Because the Scarf Infernape. Yeah, I need to keep uh, my Arceus around because Arceus I can take it from my Scarf Infernape. Infernape. Flare Blitz, 44. Yeah. He's healthy because otherwise Infernape could sweep me. Like Flare Blitz. I mean, Magiena takes Flare Blitz as well. But Magiena doesn't outgrow him back because I don't have the coverage for that. I can see right here. Best thing I have. Shadow Ball does like 45%. So keeping this guy around is important. At least at above 50%. It goes into Arceus. I probably would hard switch into Magiana. Because I would need plus... I need, would need plus 3 to kill the... But I take a hit from Infernape, so... I would need plus 2 to kill him with... Uh, in, in, in trick from I need, I need plus one to kill him with two. Yeah. So 
So he's low on thinking right now. I'm pretty sure what I want to do. Because Infernape, I just Earthquake. Because that's the thing to deal with. Because Arceus, uh, do I have to switch into Lucario or do I have to switch to McGeehan? That's the question. What do I think has more chances? I think Lucario has more chance because I don't think I get a chance to set up with Magiana. The trick I mean. So I would hard switch to Magiana. If it goes into Mewtwo, I hard switch into the Deoxys. If it goes into Dialga, I just Earthquake. And yeah, I have my place already thought out. Don't know if they are the correct place already. So he goes into Infernape. Does U-turn... This is Magiana. Does U-turn bring me in range with, with, into close combat? Yuta does 70%. So together it's like 51, 61. So after Yuta, I'm not in range. So I would want to extreme speed right here. I could have Grass Note. Especially with Grass Note. Let's don't forget that. Uh, Timid. Grass Note. So Grass Note does 59. So I'm out of range of that as well. So I would want to extreme speed because extreme speed. Brings in guaranteed in range of Lucario. So if he scuff, I won't get this damage off. Mark punch, okay. He mark punched. So he wants to bring in range or something. Probably the Arceus. So his speed does 37. And since he mark punched. Yeah, I just occur right here. Like, I thought he was scarf, but since he mark punched, the further percent. What kind of a are you? Mark Punchu. Oh well, yeah, it looks like just max attack. Uh, jolly. Yeah. Hmm. No idea what kind of Inferno it is. But he's not Scarf, so I should have just Earthquaked. But in case he was Scarf, it means it was the better play to bring him in range of my priority. No, it's just Earthquake. Never experienced it. Oh, he didn't go for the thing. Okay. So he goes into this guy. So now, do, is it worth it keeping this Arceus around? I can't just still just sack the Arceus and keep this guy around to, 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 to good damage to Arceus for some speed ties. I can still just sack the Arceus, so... Go to this, side strike. Now we can get some extreme speed chip off. Like, I don't mind if he sets up right here. The only problem could be if he's... Uh, what you call it, if he substitutes, but now he's guaranteed the range of my priority. Does the Lucario kill him from here? Uh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo Y. Where's the Lucario? Because Lucario kills, I think Lucario just wins, barring his thing as a chopper berry. Bullet Punch does uh, 28 to 32 if he's that variant, so it's not real risking. Arceus does how much? Ground might not kill as well. Like if he's no bulk, he's a standard variant. And Lucario has a chance to kill. So Lucario is obviously more important than uh, Arceus at this point. So we just go to Arceus in extreme speed. I don't think we take a side strike for Arceus. I do doubt that we take a side strike with Marcy Arceus. Mew to Y. Side strike, yeah. That's, so we just extreme speed to knock him off the poison. But now I think. So if I go to Lucario. I need to go into Magina. I, I have to go into Magina right here. Because if I go into Lucario and go to Arceus, I might still lose. Because I, he's faster than me. I always see if he earthquakes, I'm dead. Because Lucario, I already clicked it, but Lucario doesn't take an earthquake from Max like Arceus, right? M -m 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 Wait, uh, Arceus, normal. God damn it. Uh, normal. Arceus, normal. Just Arceus is there. Arceus, there you go. We have earthquake. Uh, earthquake. Yeah, has a very high chance of killing me. It is adamant though. Would he be Element? Uh, element? Would he be Element? Could be Jolly. Then uh, there's no chance he kills my Lucario. So then Lucario would be the better play. Now it's a... Uh, so let's let's think this through a little bit. I go to Lucario. He goes into Dialga. I obviously just kill it. Uh, so that's... I win that outcome because then he only has Lucario left. He goes into uh, Arceus. I do lift the Earthquake. Go for Aurosphere. Does Aurosphere even kill him? 
Or, oh, that's with Chocolate Berry. So I don't know if he's Chocolate Berry, obviously. So, might even be that. Obviously, the Vacuum Wave will kill it, but Earthquake into this thing as well. Uh, if I go to Megiana, he goes into this thing. I get a Trick Room, he goes for the... Uh, thing. Yeah, I think Magiana gave a Trick Room is, is the scenario to go for here. He is Lumberry. Okay, so he's not the thing. He's not uh, the other thing. So if I go for Trick Room right here... How much... Look at Like, how many plus... It is at plus six. Do I still... I don't take Extreme Shield, it is at plus six. It's at plus four, I still take one. So, Magiana, do you two it KO this Arceus? Magiana, no you don't. So if he gets plus six... And he's at... Uh, he, if he gets plus six, he wins the game. But, if, so if I don't go for Trigon right here, I just go straight for Aurosphere, because he can't get a plus six because three Aurosphere kill him. Goes to Sword Sands. Aurosphere, 33%. 40%, 43%. If he has Recover, that's a different story. So do go for another Aurosphere. Earthquake, Shooker. Nice. So now's the question. How much does the vacuum wave from Bakari do to Arceus? Like I do 39%, I actually do 47% with the max roll I got so oh wait no that's his earthquake. I did 39 and 43. So he is no HP? Looks like no HP 39? Yeah, looks like no HP. So how much does Lucario do? <coughs> with a vacuum wave, the dust KO from here. So um, if he has Recover, I would have to switch into Lucario. And then I could go for Vacuum Wave. Oh, if he, and then he's at 68. If he has the Recover, he wins. So... If he has Recover, I think Trick Ruling. No, when he just thought of Trick with Recover, so... Yeah, if he has Recover, he wins. But he does not. So we can just go into Lucario, click the Vacuum Wave, and then kill this thing Vacuum Wave. So we do win. Nice, he didn't have Recover. There was a play where I could have prevented him with Recover, because if he had, had Recover, I would have to get him on the on the thing. And what you call it? On the right turn on Trick Room. But yeah, now he goes with this, the Alga. Is he Scarf? No, he, he wasn't Scarf. He was... Oh, he could have been Scarf, actually. But yeah, GG. We do win 1-0, very close game, GG of course to uh, Jost, his links in the description, and we do actually get into the finals of this league, I had never expected after our horrendous season that we somehow end up in the finals, but we actually have a shot at the championship, and that is very nice, but uh, yeah, that's all for this video, I hope you enjoy, I will see you in our time, uh, ciao!